Introducing Saint Elsewhere, a groundbreaking TV series from 1982 that's more than just a medical drama. This show has it all from funny moments that'll leave you in stitches, to shocking twists that'll keep you on the edge of your seat, to heart-wrenching scenes that'll tug at your emotions. So if you're looking for a roller coaster ride of emotions, keep watching this video. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? Can you share a personal story of how this TV series has inspired or impacted your life? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Get ready to dive into the world of Saint Elsewhere and discover why it's become a classic that still resonates with audiences today. Strap in for a journey filled with laughter, tears, and everything in between. Trust us, you won't want to miss it. Saint Elsewhere started airing in 1982. It's a TV series about a hospital in Boston called Saint Eligius. The show follows the lives of the hospital staff and patients showing their personal and work struggles. The main characters include Dr. Donald Westfall, who's the boss, and Dr. Craig, a very skilled surgeon. Other important characters are Dr. Victor Ailick, a clumsy but kind doctor in training, and Nurse Helen Rosenthal, who's known for being caring. St. Elsewhere talked about different social issues and got a lot of praise, winning many Emmy Awards. It's known for showing the medical world realistically and having interesting characters, making it special in TV history. The TV series Saint Elsewhere had some interesting behind-the-scenes connections. For instance, the names of doctors paged over the PA system were often provided by friends and family of the cast and crew. In a few episodes, Dr. Gwyneth Paltrow was paged. Her father, Bruce Paltrow, was the show's executive producer. Additionally, one of the actors was able to buy a ranch in Eureka, California, thanks to the salary earned from the show. He became good friends with his co-star Jennifer Savage's husband through the show. She played nurse Lucy Papandra. Overall, the series had some intriguing connections off-screen, enriching the experience for those involved. In the TV medical drama that started in 1982, there was a neat feature at the start of each part. It showed the time the story was happening, giving it a realistic touch. The character Dr. Daniel Auslander, played by Norman Lloyd, was only meant to be in four episodes originally. But because people liked him and the story changed, he ended up staying for six more seasons. This change in plans also ended up being how the show ended. A cool fact about the show's production is that one of the creators and producers, John Massius, was dating and later married one of the actors. This connection brought in people like Norman Lloyd, showing how everyone involved in making the show was connected. So, with its unique time display and surprising character twists, the show became more than just a medical drama. The close ties between the cast and creators, thanks to John Massius, helped the show last longer and shaped how it ended. St. Elsewhere, known for its finale's inside jokes, nods to its creators, Brand and Falsy, with a character named Brandon Falsy. The episode also references the fugitive with a chase involving a one-armed man. During the chase, someone shouts, move the gurney, Hal, a nod to Dave Letterman's director, Hal Gurney. The show's finale revealed a twist, placing it at the center of the Tommy Westfall universe. With crossovers to Cheers and characters appearing in Homicide Life on the Street, it connects to over 280 other non-animated shows, ranging from I Love Lucy to CSINY. Tom Fontana, a writer on the show, once remarked that roughly 90% of American television could be traced back to Tommy Westfall's mind. Among the actors of St. Elsewhere, Norman Lloyd, and others like Dick Van Dyke, Ernest Borgnine, and Betty White, Daniel stands out for continuing his acting career into his 80s and 90s without retiring or losing work. Dr. Roxanne Turner, portrayed by a skilled actor, appeared consistently in almost every episode of the TV series. However, she missed just one episode and was absent in the final year. Notably, Tom Fontana, a writer for the show's inception, later became an executive producer for another series in which the same actor appeared in 1993. In a noteworthy connection, the actor's son, John David Washington, entered the spotlight as a running back with the St. Louis Rams in May 2006. These facts underscore the actor's enduring association with the medical drama. Tom Fontana's involvement in both series creates a notable link between the two productions. Furthermore, the actor's family connection to football adds an interesting layer to the narrative. In summary, the actor's substantial role in St. Elsewhere, coupled with her son's sports career, and the collaboration with Tom Fontana adds depth to the overall narrative of their career.
Set in Boston City Hospital in Boston's South End, the medical drama unfolded against the backdrop of the show. The narrative primarily took place within the hospital, giving viewers insight into the characters' lives. One actor in the series had studied pre-med before switching to communications in college. Later, he portrayed doctors on both this show and another medical drama, demonstrating a smooth transition from his academic background to his on-screen roles. Interestingly, this actor shared a birthday with Norman Lloyd, a fellow actor on the show. Their collaboration added an extra layer of connection to the series. In summary, the show set in Boston City Hospital featured an actor with a pre-med background who later played doctors on it. Sharing a birthday with co-star Norman Lloyd added a personal touch to their on-screen collaboration. While working on Broadway in The Golden Apple, he met Charlotte Ray. Later, he reunited with her on an episode of the series. Helen Hunt, daughter of Gordon Hunt and Jane Elizabeth Novice, is her stepdaughter and niece of Peter H. Hunt and Barbette Tweed maternal niece of James Novice and Catherine Fries, a dancer. Hunt's paternal great-grandparents were Gustav Rothenberg and Florence Skull. Her maternal grandfather, Edward Norman Novice, was from St. Leonard's, Hastings, England. In the final season, doctors mentioned the elevated orange line being torn down. By then, it had already closed, replaced by the Southwest Corridor. The Washington Street Elevated ceased revenue service on May 1, 1987, and was dismantled over several years. Before Ed Flanders took on the role of Donald Westfall, Hal Linden was offered the part but declined. On set, along with Ed Flanders and Norman Lloyd, Daniels had to pronounce medical terms using the medical dictionary. He also had to make a speech before performing surgery. The orderly, Warren Cool Coolidge, was also a character played by the same actor in The White Shadow. In one episode, he's seen wearing his Carver High School varsity letter. In another episode, when an actor from Shadow played a different role, that actor was mistakenly referred to by his name from Shadow. The actor corrected the mistake on camera. In the final episode's credits, the show had a special logo, the MTM Kitty, was shown in a hospital bed with the plug being pulled on itself. Surprisingly, the real MTM Kitty passed away about two months after the series ended. Norman Lloyd, a key person in the series, had a big effect on his colleagues. Ed Begley Jr., who worked closely with him on the show, praised Lloyd's influence on his understanding of storytelling, both as an actor and a director. Howie Mandel, another co-star, warmly remembered Lloyd's legendary status and his ability to captivate with stories, especially those about Hitchcock. Their feelings show how much Lloyd added to the craft. Also, one of the actors on the show met her husband while working on set, showing the personal connections made during its production.